top five. Morning, everybody. First of all, I'm gonna smack Ben, but that's not the point. Hello. Okay. We're gonna go to breakfast, yeah? And because we live in the slums, <laughs> we're gonna go have breakfast at the palace. So, I want Sensor to take his big ass tripod so he can know what it's like to be a YouTuber full time. So, we're gonna, we're gonna head out. We wanna drive. Just get a little bit of fresh air. Have breakfast. Really enjoy ourselves and get the day started. So, yeah, guys, come with us. Let's have breaky and then. Okay, so we're gonna go have breakfast at the palace. I'm really not interested in having breakfast at the palace. I just wanna see real niggas doing real things. So Sansa and I are gonna drive to the palace right now, have breakfast, and get our taste for it. It smells like eggs, but I wanna smell more than eggs. I wanna smell luxury, bro. Dimelang Masadi! Okay, so we're off, yo. <laughs> we'll meet you guys at the palace. Please say hi to Kalanbuya. Kalanbuya. Guys, I want to say that we had fun today. It's very dangerous. Don't do it. Gotcha. Because, because I went to an after party. Wait, do you mean Abuti? Eric, a lift? Yeah. The palace. Is, we, we caught a lift last night at 12. Yes. I love you so much. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Nekir oh, <laughs> get no driver mara was like there's no way. Thanks papa ne. Go one o sha by one o ish. Aki ba tu amu mara ish. Ungu pilant. Ah, kya lo bu abute. Nekir to driver mara was just like I don't. I get to go for more kya odi mu kya fat ish. Lekai mara papa. Let's have. Ah, no let's have. Hey, let's. Air fit in the sun seat. Okay, guys, I'm here. Here at the palace. We just want to get breakfast. Okay, now he's FaceTiming me. Offense is definitely FaceTiming me after he left us. <laughs> At the club, no, no, no. Offensive put us in the club in the VIP and then ditches us. <laughs> Offensive, say hi to my people. Sorry, how are you? We'd like a table, but we're not staying at the palace. Can we just go down? Is there someone who can assist us? Every Eric is without the microphone. So, if you ask the table, there will be a charge. Oh, but you know that's perfectly fine. Uh, if I can assist them, if not, stop the quiet. Okay, thank you so much. They better assist us, child. Well, I'm really hoping to chat into the Robert Discatua because I'm definitely in the mood for breakfast, okay? Child. I am playing that okay. game. <laughs> I'm not playing this game. Dimela, like I, the record of the for tomorrow. We're not staying at the palace. Ah, but you, mama, mama, you pull all the way from. Ah, but you, we take it all the way far. That's all we have to do. We take it, maybe later, but we're not going to get there. Okay, I understand. I feel like I just passed through some air. Cause it's too low all the way up. Oh, because I know it's coming to sit by less. But so I'm nice. Guys, I'm finally eating. Let me show you guys what I'm having. Finally, guys, I needed to eat. Things are not looking good, so I'm just gonna eat quickly and then. We're gonna get the rest of the day started, okay? Uh, I'm hanging. For the journey I can am already stuck on my sofa, guys. So we're done. 
and now I feel the hangover really kicking in. So guys, I'm gonna do a briefing quickly I'm over this. Oh, you said, and you better not drag cabanas online. I'm dragging the cabanas. Hey, cabanas is exactly what it's supposed to be. It's exactly who it should be. And it is the girl it was always made to be. I'm not gonna drag cabanas on my watch. <laughs> cabanas is fun. We love Ca cabanas. Cabanas is the cabanas funnest is the place. <laughs> cabanas <laughs> is the best. Everyone My legend, give me a hand. We gotta go for this briefing shot, but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get us a... Ooh, hi ladies, what is that? Is that a strawberry daiquiri? Hi. 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 Oh, what's up, Someone finally recognizes you. Yeah. But someone finally recognizes me. Sanzo, go for him, guys. Sanzo, it's fame. This is fame, bro. Mariela, do you want an autograph? I'll give it to you now. Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Sanzo, we in. But do you want an autograph? I'll give it to you now. Hi, ladies. Hello. I saw you yesterday. Hi, Hello. Mama. Hey, guys, it's your vlog. I'm going to ask you. 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 Are you drinking a strawberry da queen? Yeah. Because I want it for myself. Guys, where are we getting this briefing? I'm telling you, guys, I'm going to YouTube. I'm going to go 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 to YouTube. Guys, I got to get a strawberry to query, not a daiquiri. Wait, should, where are we getting this briefing? Back to the bar by the pool. Hi, my lady. How are you? Do you want to look at me? Keep briefing, eh? Yeah, briefing. Are you good? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. You Sorry. Can have a seat here. Wait, are you being safe? Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to day two. As you guys can tell, my voice is definitely gone. Um, I'm very stressed about it because my voice was just getting better. But anyway. It is day two of the vlog. Yesterday ended up being a mess. We ended up going to Club Encore and we came back at around 2 3 in the morning. So it was quite fun, but hey, bro, like I'm, I'm tired. And also, we had to leave because my phone died. And I was like, I don't like it when my phone dies. But anyway, let me show you guys what I'm wearing before I show you guys this little unboxing that I have. And then we're going to go to UR. So, I'm wearing this dress from Boss Lady Dressed. It's very cute, guys. Isn't it? But I had to tuck it in on the sides because I'm not a very brave girl. And I've got a bit of a fupa. And I'm wearing the wrong underwear with this dress. Somebody should have told me to get a seamless. But, hey, it is what it is. Anyway. Day two, and I actually got an unboxing that I want to unbox. So, a friend of mine gave me this. And I just want to do a quick unboxing because I love unboxings. Um, yo, guys, yesterday was amazing. Just when my voice was getting better, it ended up getting worse. But anyway, let's see what's inside the box. Ooh, oh! I love it so much. Oh my god. Uh, First things first, I'm so excited because my sister stole my uh, Polaroid camera, so I actually got another one. Oh god, I love it so much. I got a Polaroid camera that comes with a little baggie. Oh god, I love Polaroids. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. And they also gave me the Insta Stax mini film, so it's the film that actually helps create the Polaroid picture, which is great. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see, let's see what we got here. This looks like a supersonic. Oh, what, what is ZTE? Wait, let me see first. Okay, so I got this router, which is exciting AF because one of the things I need is data. And like, we even. And you know what, guys? I need a mobile router because I've noticed that I buy data like crazy. And sometimes you go in spaces where there's no network, there's no data, and you just. Honestly, I think this is such a good thing for me to have because I definitely need a router. Guys, hey guys. Okay, what is this? <gasps> so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Oh no, you didn't. Oh no! The grannies we are, baby. Are we are, baby? Nah, no ways. No ways. No.
These are Galax Boy shades. In the club, this will be me. Oh my god, these are gorgeous. I think I'm gonna wear these today when I go to UR. There's no way, I just don't want to see people. I want them to see me. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Got it good. These are gorgeous. Oh my god, I've never had Galax Boy shades and I've been wanting to get them. I actually stole my friend's ones, Mandisa, man's not hot. And now I've got my own pair. I'm still not gonna give hers back, but at least I've got my own pair. Now I'm on two. You know what I'm saying? That's fine, I'll give hers back. These are gorgeous. I'm so excited. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, a little kind of water bottle thing in my body, which I like a lot. And, oh my goodness, this is so cute. A towel. Okay, I see this. I see this. I see this. I see this. Okay. So, as far as I'm concerned, a brand called Supersonic sent me this. And they were like, girly, get, let's get it, baby. Oh, and batteries. What do I need batteries for? Oh. And, and, um, a power bank yes this is a power bank i'm so excited because like i said my phone died so that is why we actually like left the club yesterday so getting a power bank and a router if this if i'm not mistaken this is a router i'm not sure what what is this, this is a router it's a router it? i'm so excited uh thank you so much to supersonic for sending me this because these are two of the things that i really need right now i definitely need a power bank because i left mine i'm always forgetting my power bank at home but most importantly i need a router because i feel like it can always be on the go with me i can take it everywhere and most importantly i always have data because data is so expensive to buy yes i know you guys want to say it's not data it's data it's what i want it to be according to my words but guys i'm really excited thank you so much to supersonic they actually surprised me today with this and this is super cool and these are a great bonus for tony fontaine like this is just the perfect combination stay hydrated keep your phone on keep it on and make great memories with the polaroid camera so i'm loving everything that i got right now now we're gonna go to ur and i'm definitely taking my router with me i'm gonna quickly set it up and then we're gonna head to ur so let's go guys guys this lady forced me to vlog i don't know who's this thing i'm watching this lady forced me to do my job we say these ladies are like i can't vlog i guess son I'm like fuck, <laughs> guys. We're waiting for the bus. And it's in bank for driver. I actually wanted to drive my car and then oh no 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 yes yes we're now yes. And there is a person a person I I I pass it pass. It was here man. Yeah, it was it was here like the other minute I'm going to go to It was up here. Yeah. Time is yours. So guys, we're currently waiting for the bus right now, and. My voice is gone, I probably shouldn't be speaking, but I am. The laryngitis is killing you, girl. I don't even want to lie. But to be really honest with you, I wasn't trying to do UR. I really wasn't. Like, I'm just over it at this point. I just want to, I just want to slip, bams. Like, I just want to see myself in bed, bro. But we still got the all white, so. What do you guys think of my makeup? It's matching my dress. So, yeah. We're waiting for the bus and as soon as we get to UR, I'm just going to have literally one drink, come back and prep for the all white. But knowing everybody, it's probably not going to end at 5. Guys, I'm going to get on 5 for UR.
I am about to I, bring them back. I will. So Bula Slide. Yeah, I will. I will. Slide. I will. I DJ Bula Slide. I am here. Welcome to my channel. YouTube channel. I am not letting you know. Harwa kukinya boyfriend now. Bata Mushela. Bata Mushela. Bata Mushela. Bata Mushela. And that's how it works. Think about democracy. Uh-uh. Mm-mm, guys. Mm-mm. 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 First of all, I need to go redo my makeup, but that's one. And then two, my voice is seemingly leaving again for like the thirteenth time. And then three, I just I'm tired. I'm genuinely I've given up on myself. I've given up on my life. Given up on a lot of things. I'm just so shaken at how we've been drinking. So but the good thing is, the good thing is, um, at least I'm asleep. The good thing is, Nagata all white and then Osanike Robala, guys, because I can't do this anymore. I can't drink, I can't keep drinking like this. Nike Moholo, guys, for a 30, and I might think it's. Deliver Harissa Dumela whole so like personally for me personally and like I just don't understand how we're drinking like this but anyway I'm gonna go to Nando's now and then I need to go back to the hotel and redo my makeup because I'm seeing all the flames like like this face beat that I did with my heart and my soul <laughs> it's done so I'm old, bro. I'm over this do I really have to like drink and vlog it's not fair i feel like you guys give me this heavy job of having to vlog and it's not fair okay. i cannot have the elephant i cannot have a big face i just want nando's i want food in my tummy i love it so much i love that fan like my baby i'm official guys <laughs> Home I was I was <laughs> so guys, Zimmy just caught me here and she wanted to take a selfie with your girl whose makeup looks like ass but make sure to check out on Instagram I'm gonna drop it right over here and follow your girl Zimmy, okay? Thank you so oh, much. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. My friend told me. Fufu. Oh my god. So proud of you. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, no, perfect. Welcome back, guys, to another day of my vlog. I am absolutely tired. I do not want to be here anymore, but <laughs> we move. So, Ash, guys, yo. Katele. Do you make the subscribe? Oh my god. <laughs> yes, that hat is perfect. That's a perfect hat. So I'm yeah. So yeah, I'm creating content right now with uh, Supersonic because they're actually uh, with MTN and it's super cool. As as an MTN user, I believe in anything at MTN, but I'm creating content right now, guys. Look, look how cute this is. I'm a content creator, baby. <laughs> So, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing right now, take pictures and stuff like that. I'm gonna place you guys right over here and watch me do what I gotta do, baby. finally back my voice is still really ass but we are getting ready to go to Tona Fontaine <laughs> it actually started hours ago and people are already there and I'm not there but I was too tired I really wasn't sure if I wanted to go so but because Sanzo needs to get the full Tona Fontaine experience and also it wouldn't make sense missing the actual event of Tona Fontaine which is actually go to their event right at Fun City so I want to show you guys what I'm wearing and we'll go and head out so 
this is what your girl is wearing now i wore this outfit actually in ghana and it was just off a whim and it actually worked so this time i'm pairing it with my dolce sneakers which are super dirty and then i've got this and then i've changed my wig but other than that i like this outfit it was so like i'm actually so tired of drinking the whole day but it was so unprepared so unplanned and then it turned out really well oh my god i think i'm sweating oh god one thing about me i will sweat real talk i really need to sort out this issue of me sweating i think this might be a medical condition because I can just walk for two seconds and I'll start sweating. And the thing is, my one ex-boyfriend made fun of me saying, oh, you've got high blood pressure because my dad has high blood pressure. And initially I laughed, but now I'm worried. It could be. So, we are getting ready to leave. You want to come with me to Zona Fontaine. And we're going to end off this weekend with a bang. I'm going to try not to speak too much because my voice is suffering again. But other than that, guys, let's get ready. Let's go. Rachel. <laughs> Come say hi to my subscribers. Guys, I've got a new friend. Her name is Rach. Hello, subscribers. And Rachel's boyfriend is not going to be on our vlog because Nizom Shela. Nizom Shela is in Jandin. Sheba. Sheba. Nizom Shela. He's got a boy. She's, he's got a girlfriend. What's that? Okay, so I've met Rachel. And yeah. No, I'm not going to say hello. Say hello. So Rachel and Sansa and I and Bubi are getting ready to go. Um, I think we'll probably just all hang out together. We'll try to find a table, and because we've been hanging out with them the whole day. The reason I'm tipsy is because of them. Like <laughs> they came with the whole bar to Sun City, dog. They have like six bottles and they countless ice. They just have everything. So yeah, we're packing. We're getting ready to leave, and I'll talk to you guys as soon as we get there. Love you. Yes. So I'm working with my potential could be boyfriend, but he's too busy being a belly. So I gotta give him, you know, some space. Sister live vlog mass. Yeah, never. I'm so excited I own Galax Boy things, two of them. I own this top and I own my shades. Courtesy of Super Sonic. I'm gonna do that. I met a man I might potentially love, but he might potentially be super dangerous. But because me I love a thrill. We're gonna breakfast, y'all. Ipile! Dude, where did Booby and Thingy end up? Bubi, um, Rachel came back and slept. Bubi, Bubi, I'm I'm going through all of it. But, the good thing is, I'm going to breakfast. And, hopefully, I'm going to get some food up in me and start over, okay? This is day number Monday. I'm functioning. I'm barely, I'm actually barely making it, but I think we can take comfort in knowing that my lover has once again proved 
that age is nothing but a number and that I can make it through three heavy days of drink. I want to let music speak. Boom, boom, boom. Show me what's up, Sam. Ah, yeah. what's up, Sam? 12 plus 12, Sam. I have work and it's a two hour drive. So, yeah. I met this guy. Did I give him my number? Uh, yeah, yeah. Did I? Yeah. Yes. So, remember, I, I was supposed to put it in and then I forgot the number because I was drunk. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, I love him so much, guys. And then, yeah, you gave him. You I gave love him. him. I'm in love with him. Okay. Well, now I met a guy, guys. Ah! From when when I when I No, I thought you were taking out your titties, Don. Look what I'm wearing. Bitch! You got one! Nice! Look at her! Deuces! She almost killed me! What to do, baby? Hi, Latoya. How are you? You know what? I'm gonna let you stop being yellow. You remove this thing Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. Last time you were here, you were snapping with the man. Hello? At Sun City. God damn it. Oh, you look so nice. good. Like, look at these niggas. See, this, this feels like deja vu, the scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at like this. I think it's deja vu. It That's feels so, like so, it. Oh, but a year look later. At these, these a year later. <laughs> <laughs> upgrade. Upgrade. After a year, the new iPhone comes out. A year later, you're sitting here eating the same breakfast. Who? Where is he? <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't listen to him. I broke my nail. Boy, I'm sorry. Fingering. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Fingering. All I'm saying is that a year later, so much can happen in a year, guys. You know, like. A lot can happen in here, don't you agree? No. So what do you think, hey? What do you think can happen in here? Let's actually interview. You, you never, you never the person that's being interviewed. You're always the one that's having, asking all these questions. Okay, guys, today we're going to ask my lady a couple of questions. First of all, who were you with last year? Mm. Magna's actually being a bit of a dick because men are disappointing and that is why I'm here by myself. I have no more faith in a man. I don't. So you, you're eating breakfast so you can fuel your, you know? Now I'm going home. I'll you can fill yourself up to lie more to, 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 to niggas because women are not with people. Probably. Hey. You're going home? Um, I'm going home. Well, yeah, man. Let's, let's, I'm staying for a holiday. Are we, are we live? Are we recording? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look! Oh my god! But oh my god! Ah, I'm on TV again! <laughs> Good morning. Um, welcome back to the first day of my vlog on vlogmas okay like don't worry about my hair don't worry about my hair this is still like the braids that i had but welcome i'm hung over as shit i'm heartbroken as shit and i'm gonna go do my hair so i'm gonna take you guys with me i have quite a few activities to do today and I have to get a video uploaded but i want to take you guys with me because today i have to do my hair and i have a lunch date and i just have a couple of things planned for this weekend so i'm definitely going to be vlogging but welcome back guys to vlogmas i really hope you guys are having a good december current life update i am in the fucking trenches i am in the depths of despair chief mourner <laughs> the morning the morning minder <laughs> 
the sorrow sheriff wait the sorrow what do they call that guy the crying colonel i don't know whatever i'm just going through all of it dude um you know what happened i monkey you this thing oh guys by the way i'm absolutely loving this brand they're called Lano Lab. My sister bought me this. It, it kind of reminds me of a... I don't know if you guys can see. kind of reminds me of the Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream. Hold on. So, oh, guys. Current life update. I'm in hell. <laughs> Yo, guys. <laughs> I am in fucking hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no the thing is it shouldn't be funny like like it shouldn't be funny but it is you know mm, i'm a heartbreak hotel going through it deep in the trenches in in the valley of despair but essentially what is going on is that it, this is day three of the day it's you like I've just been in so much shock. I've just been in so much pain. Like, I wish I could describe it for you guys. But as soon as, like, the words come out of my mouth, it's back to, like, but you should have known that this was bound to happen, you know? And the thing is, it's like... <sighs> fuck! <laughs> nah, fuck this shit, man. No, dude, men are fucking trash. Men are scum. Do you understand what I'm saying? You guys are the fucking ghetto. And you know what? I'm going to give you guys a piece of advice. Get it to fucking get that. Like, you know what? You're not about to come into someone's life, a very wholesome, black, thick woman with a fat ass and a small waist, and make her life tumultuous and full of hell because you don't know what the fuck you want. <laughs> fuck you on top of that. Anyway. Where was I? I'm gonna go do my hair now. Um, I'm gonna go put on a wig, look good, because I've got a lunch date with my friend CD. And then I'm gonna come back home, maybe share a little bit about what's going on. I got, a, I have some um, content work that I need to do today, really take some pictures and whatever the case may be. But other than that, it's been good so far. But yeah, it's been full of, you know, emotions up and down. And I probably should drink my contraceptives. Contraceptives. Guys, I'm hungover. One. Let's talk about that. I'm hungover. That shit. But, um, yeah, I'm going through it. But I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover. Anyway, let's go put on my wig. I don't have much to say. I just want to tell you guys I'm in this beat. Like... Yo! <laughs> ah! Yo! I see sick again, my foot. Mm -mm. Let me change. Let's just go. I'm gonna go to this girl called Gamo. She does new hair on Instagram. You guys know I already plugged her on my first Vlogtober video, so make sure to go check that out. So it's like an update to QA. And, um,. I'm gonna go, she's gonna go install my wig and then we'll get my day started. Let's go. I I'm so I'm geeking. I'm geeking. I can't believe I just saw myself on Super Sport. Like, I don't know what the hell was going on, but I just heard my voice on TV, right? And the thing is, as crazy as it is to say this, it's it's uncommon now not to hear my voice on TV. Like I I, I hear my voice because obviously adverts on channel O shows conquer live. So Initially, like what I do is I, I play between the channels. So what I've been doing is I've been watching the Qatar World Cup I've been keeping really up to date. It's what I wanted to tell you guys like I'm actually on super sport, baby. We up <laughs> I'm so excited Just when I was crying I see the advert so I'm gonna drive to Gamma's house and I'm gonna make a couple of calls, tell my parents about it, but I'll talk to you guys as soon as we get there. But I'm so excited! Like this was such a, it was such a, like a geeking moment because Super Sport is such a large platform, and I never want to take for granted the the women that are making strides in those spaces because they are naturally like avid sports fans. So 
to be able to be in spaces like that first of all you guys know already there is money in sports there is money in sports and one of the things i always wanted to be a part of was sports i've always been an athletic sport kind of girl played it, like all types of sports in school the only sport i never actually played was soccer but i even started a cheerleading team in school to support the soccer guys yeah i was dating the soccer captain maybe it's because i was dating the soccer captain i was in love with him but what matters is that I was definitely like an avid sports. I was sportswoman of the year in school, guys. Like, I know this means nothing to you guys, but it means everything to me. So, to, to, to even know that I could get to a point where I can collaborate with super sport is crazy because like i said my parents my family and everyone like watches sports everyone watches sports i don't know any human being that doesn't watch sports and now i'm on a larger platform that is being watched consecutively because of the world cup so yeah i'm excited i'm i'm geeking bro i'm, I'm geeking like i don't know man i was just having the worst day because you know I was having the worst day because of someone that I really, really loved and cared for. But it, it can't supersede the happiness that I'm feeling right now. It does not supersede the happiness that I'm feeling right now. So, let me go get my hair, Z. Yo! What was this guy doing? It was actually my fault. I'm gonna go get my hair done. I'll talk to you guys when I'm done being a doofus. Bye. With my ashy dry lips. At Kamo's place. Kamo! Get like a super spot, I'm a umpani. Guys, I'm a super sport babe now, taking sense. I'm with my hairstylist, my hair goddess. Say hi to my people. Oh, yeah. I have to come to the other side. Yeah. Say hi. Person. Yeah, we both looking for <laughs> Say hi to my subscribers. <laughs> Jennifer, and hi to my subscribers. Hi guys. Guys, I'm here to do my hair. I'm here for my best friend. Shabang best friend. Shabang best friend. Hi bestie. And hi. <laughs> Koki's my best friend. Okay guys, I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna talk to you guys when I'm done. Hi. Hi. And bye. guys look look lay baby laying beats okay guys um i'm done now so i'm gonna say bye to the ladies and i'll talk to you guys when i get in the car so guys i am home i'm back home after having done my hair i'm outside in my backyard and obviously you guys know that i renovated my backyard but i just want to obviously walk you through when you step outside what you see and i just want to share a little bit about how it's made me feel to get my backyard done okay so let me let me start from the kitchen okay so here are my ashy little feet okay all right as you walk out this is my door <laughs> 
and this is my garden essentially okay so that that string you see over there i'm getting those lights fixed because they were obviously kind of mounted to the wall and then i did my garden over there and then these chairs were obviously here when i initially moved in but i'm getting rid of them and buying two new chairs and then i got just a little cute patio furniture for the outside don't mind my brutal guys you know the vibes and then i did like a little walkway and did some fake green grass i didn't want real grass because i knew that it was bound to burn so i got an astroturf and then i wanted a fire pit initially but then i found out that the fire pit that i wanted needs gas so because i don't have any gas line i had to leave it kind of empty but i will work on it and then essentially that's just what it looks like that and then just obviously my old bride stand which i'll probably get rid of at some point at that time but yeah let's let's have a seat and actually talk about this garden i don't want to lie guys i just got home today and i keep coming out into this backyard and being so happy to see something that i i was just saying at the beginning of the year that i wanted to work on which was this backyard and you guys will see a little bit of before after pictures i will post some clips that i had obviously left on my computer because i wanted to do like a before and after reveal of my garden and just kind of explain to you guys how it looked what i wanted to do with it um i'm getting ready to leave now i'm gonna go to this place called best friend food bar best friend food bar but i just want to show you guys a little bit of a kind of um um what do you call this sneak peek of what my garden looks like so I've been working on a garden project. Um, I'm doing landscaping in my backyard and it, it currently looks like ass, okay? But I wanna show you guys the before. Wait, hold on. Anyway, I wanna show you guys the before and after of what my backyard currently looks like. One of the reasons why I would never show you guys on the outside is because I really didn't like my backyard and how it looked. But now that we're in the process, I really wanna document it as frequently as I can. I'm not someone that's good with documenting and keeping content there for months. I'm someone who generally needs to just uh, document and film in real time. So, this is what it currently looks like. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed, but ah, let me show you. All right, so this is my backyard, guys. Look at it. Look at it. We are currently in the process going that way. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of this ugly. Ah, I think it, it was um, my brother's. And then this is the backyard, essentially. They're going to cut up everything. I think the only tree that gets to stay is that one. So, um, yes, guys. I am currently in the process of redoing this backyard. So a little bit of a backstory. Um, this house actually belongs to my dad, but I'm also in the kind of the process of buying it from him. But I actually want to move. I want to move from the south. But one of the things that I wanted to do was buy it from him and kind of have it in my name so I can actually have something in my name. So, um, currently working on the backyard, currently going to work on like the indoor of the house. I really want to change the cupboards. I want to change the kitchen. I want to do so much to this house. Um, but I decided that the first thing I would do is work on the backyard for him. He doesn't know what it's going to look like. And I'm really excited to obviously document the process. But yeah, guys, I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous. It's like a, it's a very kind of hectic job it's a very hectic process but yeah okay let me give you guys an update on how i feel about the camera i'll tell you guys the cost and how long it took on a separate video who to contact if you want to do it but essentially guys i'm just feeling so grateful you know i woke up this morning i was heartbroken i still am about a lot of things but even in the worst of emotions i still find little clumps of joy um little moments of pride little parts of gratitude in me that are just like you know the worst thing that i think i'm experiencing is heartbreak i'm not experiencing poverty i'm not experiencing unemployment i'm not experiencing not achieving my goals so as much as this little thing feels like it's tearing me apart, I just have so much to be grateful for and I tend to forget that from time to time, you know? And this this garden project was really emotional for me because 
I've been very honest in saying that, you know, this is one of my dad's houses. And when I initially moved in here, this backyard was a mess. It was a mess, mess, mess. And it's something I was like telling myself that if I'm going to live here, the least I'm going to do is help my dad fix this house up. And little did I know that God would give me the strength to do exactly that. You know, to just get this garden back together. There's one specific person I wish I could show um, this achievement to, but we don't speak anymore. But I know that he would be so proud. We probably would be sitting on some shit. We did that, you know? But I'm happy. Like, I'm getting those lights fixed. I'm getting solar lights. But I'm just so happy at the fact that I could do this and I can sit in a backyard and and that I did this by myself, no help. I remember when I first told my dad that I'm renovating the garden and he was just so terrified. He's like, what the fuck is this bitch doing? And I was like, you don't live here anymore, so you can't really make the rules. And he was like, no, 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 but don't do this. Tear down this, don't tear down this, da, 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 da. And I was like, no. I really can't wait for him to see it in person. He hasn't seen it in person yet, but I can't wait for my dad to actually come and sit out here and see it in person. I think that'll probably be the best day ever. I think I will probably be so... I don't know, man. I just... I'm happy. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. Let me go, you know, freshen up, get ready for my lunch date. I might try squeezing a video before I go, and I'll talk to you guys as soon as I'm done. Hey guys! Okay, so I am officially done. Your girl is back. Uh, oh, hold on. So you guys tell me the way. Alright. Alright. So. So your girl is done. Makeup is ready. And I am going to a lunch date now with my best friend, TD. Oh my god, you know, I'm actually friends, but like. Well, I think we're going back to where it really started. But then again, Titi's married now, guys. Hi. This man loves me so much. And I love him so much, Beck. So, um, you guys know that my former best friend, she's a very good friend of mine, um, she got married. I went to her wedding. So now, I am meeting up for lunch with her. I'm so excited. This is my outfit. I'm just wearing jeans and a, and a bodysuit, to be really, really honest with you, and heels. But I want to start at the Clicks and Lemon Tree because I went to go buy um, foundation. And apparently, the Maybelline Superstay, the one that I really like, is out of stock. As in, like, it's running out. As in, like, they're waiting for stock. So I bought one, and then I came home and did my makeup. And then while I was doing my makeup, it hit me that I should probably buy another one so that I don't have to keep going back to the store. And because Huda Beauty is out of stock, like, everywhere like you can't find it anywhere especially in my shade and then when i went to disc cam i found out that the maybelline was completely sold out in my shade i was like this calls for an intervention so what i'm going to do is i'm going back to the clicks to go find out if they have one more caramel that i can buy just to be on the safe side man like just be able to beat my face get these ember i don't want to be worrying about foundation even just on foundation it's out of stock and also i want to go show that other guy in the store because he was like what do you need makeup for so i'm just going there to show him what makeup really does and no, i'm kidding i'm actually going to go buy another foundation like i was actually thinking about it like deeply that mm, i probably need another foundation so i think i'm just gonna go buy that foundation and then head to the lunch so yeah guys i'll talk to you guys as soon as i get to clicks i am so frustrated i've been going to mabu mabu maubu i don't know what it is for the past fucking hour almost an over because it's quarter to five and i left the house at half past three i've been stuck in traffic on the highway since as far back as a marlboro no 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 even london road like i've been stuck in traffic for like 40 minutes i need to find like back routes and stuff and i'm fucking i'm fucking tired bro why is there traffic everywhere you look i'm so stressed but anyway yeah i'm stressed guys i'm so fucking pissed why is I'm so fucking pissed here, guys? What is it, guys? I can't actually believe it. Oh, God. I'm going to actually... Oh, wow. Oh. It literally took me five years to get here. Something's going on with my high heels, eh? But who knows? It took me five years to get here. Okay? But we're here, finally. Let me show you guys. We're here. It looks gorgeous. So I just want to see... 
where TD is seated so that I can put my bag down and hopefully you don't fall in these damn shoes child. and then I can oh this place is so pretty hi how are you I'm joining a lady over here and I have no more Guys, I'm late. Okay, okay, which side are we sitting? So I am back home, but lo and behold, there is low shedding. <sighs> I'm so tired, I'm so sorry. Lo and behold, there's low shedding. I just yawned, I'm so tired. I thought that I was gonna film one more video, but judging by the fact that I have to wait another hour or two for electricity to come back, I might not do it anymore. Like, depending on how willing I am, to wait out the storm but i'm hungry i can tell you guys that i'm so hungry i'm sitting in the dark <sighs> oh shit i'm sleepy i'm sleepy anyway let me end this vlog here i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace